Hey there, and welcome to Hot Seat. And we are here to explore the reasons of why. What's the why? What's the purpose? What drives business owners to do what they do? If that's what you're looking for, to get motivated, well, we look forward to sharing this episode with you. I'm your host, Kelvin Holiday, and I am enjoying the fact that we can explore people's why and motivate others. So stay tuned for this exciting new episode. 15 minutes, fast pace. Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I feel like a rock star with that sort of introduction and all that. Oh, mate, everything. You, you are an absolute rock star, mate. I've... Um, so we, we got to know each other. You're actually at a Blueprint conference, which is quite an interesting thing right now. And we actually met for the first time at a Blueprint conference. That was, that was a long while ago. We did, actually. My very first Blueprint conference, I sat next to you. So you were the first person I met. And uh, I think during the course of that conference, they started talking about the charity bike ride. You'd already signed up. I'm like, I'm in too. And uh, yes, we did. We have shared some moments in Lycra, which... Uh, probably we shouldn't show pictures of but yeah an epic experience to ride through Thailand 500 kilometers in five days with with a group of entrepreneurs is a you know truly it's a life-changing experience actually so it, it, it was and, and 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 I think for me personally in in my own business but also you know creating relationships like this one it, it's whether it be the business blue community community the way that put us together but the bike ride was that you it was such a unique experience, all right? And it brings out probably sometimes the best and the worst in some of us. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we all got a pretty, pretty sore ass on, the, on that ride and we got pretty sweaty and pretty, pretty cranky with each other at times, but, but it just forges some amazing relationships. So I'm very thankful that we, uh, we got to spend that time together. So anyway, tell us a little bit more about Moz. Yeah, all right. And by the way, for those people, it's Lorene. All right. So you've got to get the name pronounced pronounced right. All right. Not Lauren. So it's Lorene and it's Loz to her friends. So tell me yeah. a, bit about, a bit more about you and your, and your family life. Well, I grew up in country Victoria. I'm the eldest of four children and grew up on a dairy farm, which I absolutely hated. I was always the person inside doing the cooking. I love to cook. It's a, it's a passion of mine and it brings people together. Uh, which is something I love about food. And I think my, you know, I was always entrepreneurial even as a young person. I was always that first person to dive into things. So when I left school, I joined uh, the bank and worked for Westpac, became the bank manager. Um, and I've done lots of things in my working life. I uh, started my own catering business when I was, you know, had two young children at home. I uh, started a day spa business where I ended up having two spas and 22 staff, um, which is probably a whole other story, and um, worked with ABC, the ABC commercial and a corporate wellbeing product called Happy Body at Work, which sort of led me into what I do before, what I do now with BX in terms of coaching people about relationship marketing strategies. I'm completely passionate about relationships and how relationships can change what we do in our personal life. And our business life and I feel like everything I've done along the way since I left school has been you know relationships have been at the core of everything I've done and uh, I think that's you know that's how you achieve success is through creating brilliant beautiful relationships with people you care about yeah mate I, I, <laughs> I tell you that the I, I remember that day on the round tables I, I, I do remember it and 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 you were quiet for about the first 15 minutes <laughs> Yeah, but but then the personality comes out, and and I, I, she's got I'll, I call it a magnetic sort of personality. You just got to you only got to meet Loz once, and 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 there's this relate and the relationship, you know, who you are, your DNA of relationship building comes out. So tell us tell us some of the the more interesting characters that you know, don't have to mention names or experiences, but yeah, just tell us some of the experiences that might have led you through this relationship journey that uh, you've had a bit of fun with. Well, I think, uh, well, as a child, so it's sort of a fun fact that people, not many people know about me, but I you know, feel more comfortable talking about now is I was kidnapped when I was 10. So I went to a little country school and um, our whole school was kidnapped. And so that led to us having quite a sheltered childhood because obviously our parents were very protective of us. So, you know, they were very conscious about the people we connected with and who we had contact with. And I think 
for me, you know, that meant I was, I am quite shy, actually. <laughs> um, and to be X and Business Blueprint, you know, that sort of six years ago has definitely brought me out of my shell. So um, oh, I meet amazing people all the time. One of my favourite questions for people is, you know, do you love what you do? When I first meet someone and often people will pause and go, oh my gosh, you don't love what you do. Like, why are you doing it if you don't love what you do? So I love that I get to work with people every single day that can uh, really find that passion in their business. I don't know if I've got any stories about, you know, specific people as such, but every day there's something that someone blows me away. I just spoke to someone actually earlier that's wrote $170,000 worth of business in the last 10 days um, through her, you know, BX exposure. So I think, I just love that we can create that for people all the time. Well, and and, and um, we're, we're allowed to tell people how much of a blockhead I was before doing VX. So it took it took me a while to actually to, for it to sink through. But this is again, this is the 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 piece of character that comes out in Loz. She she knew VX was probably the spot that I should have been in. All right, and and you probably knew that for a lot longer than I did. That's for sure. Maybe she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this, this block in the ad, but but she just gently nurtured me, you know, and and I think that's that's one of the biggest things. And I think in business, and I, I'd love to explore this a little bit. In business, a lot of the time we're trying to get the quick sale, you know, like we've got a, an yeah. opportunity, the opportunity, the prospects there, and the idea is we're closed on, we've got to close, I've got to get them in, all right. And then six months later they're gone, you know, or they only buy from you once. And that's not a good experience. So uh, took took you two years to get me involved in BX, and I'm here, and I'll be around for a long, long time. All right, but and I love it. Uh, and I like uh, viewers. If you if you want to get into a, a network that actually works, BX is the place to be. All right, and there's other ones I'm involved in, and they all work quite nicely. But BX is really at the top of the game. So what would be what would be one thing you know about like what you've done with me and what you do consistently with building relationships and what is it that's, that? what's the loss factor, I suppose, is what I'm asking. Well, for me, I've always been that person when I meet people and they tell me a little bit, I'm good at asking questions because I don't really like talking about myself. So I love to learn about people and what they're doing, whether it's the Uber driver that you meet, you go, do you drive full time? Because they've always got a side hustle. I love hearing those sorts of stories. Um, to anyone that's running a business full on, uh, you know how you know relationships are such an important part of everything that you do so I've always been that person that when I meet you I'll go oh my gosh I've got to introduce you to that person that I met last week or last year or you know 10 years ago I love that connection piece so in terms of how we um, can be memorable to other people is to be that conduit you know just be um, you know I think a lot of times people are too scared and put a fence around what they do and they're quite territorial. Whereas if we just think about, you know, the law of abundance and that there's enough work and there's enough opportunities for everybody, just share freely, you know, um, whether it's value add or an introduction, that makes you really memorable over time. Um, and that's definitely something, I don't know, that's essentially what I was doing before I joined VX proper and I hadn't monetized it. So VX allowed me to monetize that as well. So now I have clients that actually pay me to be introduced to people, which is mind blowing because I just, it's something I absolutely love. I can't believe I get paid to do it, to be honest, because it's just such an easy thing. I just go, person A needs to meet person B, I'm going to introduce you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say just to people, like just be that person that always finds out about ask people about them and find out about other people rather than thinking about yourself and that I think that makes you memorable even say particularly in a networking sense if you're always that person that's interested rather than trying to be the person that's you know self-promoting um, you know that will stand out for sure yeah I think one of the biggest tips you actually you always said to me is be be a network builder you know at that and 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 i always i always seen it as, as, as the same thing you know, networking and being a network builder it's actually very different right networking was you go and you basically are trying to sell to a crowd of people yes. being a network builder and building partnerships that are sustainable is a very different mindset all right and people get the whole lot confused and and i, and I guess yeah, that's one of the things. And, and you've introduced me to a lot of people who traditionally I would probably think of my competitors. Yeah. 
but they're, they're actually, they, they do the same thing as I do in a different way and they're a different target market. So now I can actually refer to them, which is quite interesting. Yeah. But, but I wouldn't have seen that before. I would say, oh, I'm not going to talk to that person. I don't want them to know my secrets. But you see beyond <laughs> that. And, and I, I, I don't know if there's any, any secrets to that or if it's just something you naturally do. But, yeah, it's, it, it's pretty cool. So, well, I'd, I always think, you know, uh, conversations lead to opportunity. So even if you do see someone as a competitor, just have a conversation with them because there's no way in the world that you look after the exact same clients and have the exact same service offering. Like there's always going to be some way that you'll fit together where you can help each other. And uh, I just think, you know, we should never dismiss those opportunities. Just have the conversations and see where they go. And also, often it takes more than one conversation. Um, you know, persevere and learn more about each other over time. And that's definitely something I'm a huge advocate for is, you know, those 10-minute fortnightly catch-ups where you're learning about people and adding value to each other over time in each other's communities. You just never know, like... It's just mind-blowing to see where some of those things can go. And, you know, I'm wrapped to see what's happened since, you, <laughs> since you've taken on, you know, the, the framework that we, that we teach and, and how that can work. So, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, look, I, 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 yeah, it's, this is not about me, but it, I, I can tell you this lady <laughs> has changed my life. All right. And, I, and I, I don't say that lightly. All right. So I'm currently living my dream. Um, and a big part of that is I have totally sold out to this system of building a network all right and like i don't spend a cent on marketing all right relationships have a greater far greater value than any google or facebook ads you could ever run all right so yeah so it's really cool so okay i'm gonna I ask uh, i love that so much it's so good <laughs> yeah it, but it's true it, it it is true and and so many of us be uh, we're told it we're told it in a lot of conferences, you know, it's about building your referral network, building your referral network, but we, it doesn't sink in, all right? And so I would, I would say to anybody, all right, out there who is just, you know, sick of spending money on Google ads and stuff like that, right? Spend your time, put your time into relationships mm -hmm. and get in and actually have a conversation with this lady and, and connect with her and get her to show you the systems that they're using to be able to build a network and wow, like by far, by far the fastest I've ever built a business in my life. And it's been yeah. phenomenal. So, and I, and I thank you for that, Loz. So any final tips? I'll, I'll give you a bit of a wrap here, mate, but um, don't, don't, get, don't get too much of a swelled head. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've seen you in Lycra. <laughs> um, so anything you want to leave with the viewers today that really will just help them stand out from the crowd if they're actually in that environment where they're going to network and want to build some relationships, what are some of the things you could, you could think about to, to give them those first tips? Yeah, well, I think if you are in a networking situation, one of the tips I would give is, you know, of course, most people walk into a networking room and, you know, they're looking around the room thinking, how many people are going to buy my thing? Whereas if you go in and just go and find out about people um, and then, you know, the more people you meet and find out about what they do, you know, the bigger your sort of network and, and community grows and the more people you have the opportunity to introduce. And that, like I said before, to be that conduit, um, you know, can be super powerful. So in a networking situation, just ask questions about other people um, and that, and, you know, maybe what's one, who's one person you need to meet right now in your business. You've probably got that person in your back pocket that you can introduce someone to and then you're away. So just make yourself memorable by being different to the norm. I think that's, that's my, yeah, my biggest tip. It'll make you stand out. And particularly now when networking has become, you know, quite a, you know, it's a buzz marketing hack isn't it everyone wants to network whether it's through you know say a bni network or a bx network or whatever it is um everyone's told you need referrals but if you go about referrals in a way that's a relationship building sense rather than buy my thing if i meet you you know buy my thing um that won't hold you in good stead to create a relationship that has longevity so yeah it just becomes another google ad or another facebook ad yeah how much. Like, this is my yeah. company when you're going to buy from me yeah and no one likes to be sold to. 
Like, yeah. but at the end of the day, it just makes us defensive. So if you can be that person that's, you know, just um, accessible and reliable, you know, always do what you say you're going to do. If you say you're going to introduce someone, just do it. Whether you have to do it through a LinkedIn voice message that connects two people or a quick text or an email, just make sure you do what you say you're going to do because lots of people don't as well. And that will sort of help you stand out as well. Yeah, fantastic. Loz, as always, it's, it's been an absolute pleasure. And um, we're, we're just before the uh, we started the episode, she's telling us some good news about her life. And I'm very, very happy for you, mate. You're, you're, you're absolutely beaming at the moment. So I hope you're enjoying it up there in Brizzy, li- li- living the good life. And, um, mate, I'll see you again online, I'm sure, very, very soon at one of our, one of our BX meetings. But, folks, this is Loz McKenzie. Lauren, Lorraine is, as I said, an amazing lady. Once you uh, publish this live, she'll drop in her contact details. Please get in contact with her. If you want to grow your business and meet one of the nicest ladies that are around that's uh, about building a relationship, this is the person to actually go to. will help you um, do some stuff that you probably never thought possible. So thank you. Thanks, Loz. Thanks for having me. Mate, it- Thanks for joining us here at Hot Seat. It's been an amazing, amazing event. It is a place where you can actually enjoy and be inspired by the why of others, the drive of the purpose and the passion. Please like and share this podcast with as many people as you can to inspire them to make a difference in this world. Have an awesome day. Unleash.